It's very basic. Where are you going to put your sandwiches now? Legends, welcome back to the channel. John here on a beautiful day in Lincolnshire. I'm back with my Smart 451 Night Orange. It is my daily driver, and if you haven't seen the series on the channel, then we've spent the past sort of six months getting it up to my standards. Last week, due to a leaky aircon system, we had to take all the carpets out to uh, take the swimming pool out from inside the car. At that point, I discovered a connector under the driver's seat for the factory optional extra original subwoofer, which sits underneath the driver's seat. It has been described on some forums as a ball tickler, which you'll soon find out because I managed to grab myself one for just under 50 pounds on eBay. It is in fantastic condition and it should, in theory, be plug and play. In this video then, we are going to fit the Smart 451 under the uh, driver's seat subwoofer. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, son. What are you doing in here? I'm doing some proper old school mechanic in here. Are you, I thought you were sharpening your file, but what, no, what is it you've I'm got working there? On the, I'm working on the old uh, 18G574B. What is that? It's the cone compressor for the front of a proper mini. <laughs> what are you doing to that? I'm repairing it. Okay, fair enough. So one day you'll pop round and say, Dad, I've got this old mini that needs the front cone compressing. And I shall say, ha ha. How would you feel if I turned it with an old mini? <laughs> what I want to know is, I was listening to the introduction to your latest project. Yes, which is the ball tickler. Well, it seems to be a very male orientated uh, introduction. Why did you crush? <laughs> um, let's fit it, shall we, when you finish repairing that? Yeah. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're repair we're putting this in here, are you? What's yeah. this then? Hey, this is, I'll show you something. This is typical 1960s and 70s British engineering. Can you see how that's been machined all one side? Yes. And it's been dropped sometime and that bit's broken off? Yes. The accuracy of Churchill tools engineering. Thick as hell there, there's nothing there. Thin there, well there you are, stick around there. Look. Yeah, it doesn't very good <laughs> Right, let's do this. You're not interested in my mini, some, look, look at that. Oh, Alan Milliard had been proud of that. Show us it then, what you done? This has got wear on it, because they're better. This, see, this could have been content, you see. It's got wear on Repairing it. Repairing the mini cone, yeah. whatever it is. I just filed that off because it was all crunched up, because the needle roller bearing had failed in it, look. Okay, so we've had a look at the system and how it seems to fit. You're going to have to take the seat out so the rails come out because the back piece sits underneath the rails here. Uh, we're also going to have to take out this sort of cross bracing piece because the front sits underneath here on these brackets. So the subwoofer sits quite flush against the floor, it to be honest good. with you. Um, but the first port of call will be seat comes out, out comes this. Out it comes. What am I doing? You're, you're the blinking wireless man. If this doesn't work, I ain't spending all day ripping the dash out. <laughs> so there are, um, there is a train of thought. A what? A train of thought. Yeah. That the subwoofer may not just be plug and play. Yeah. We shall find out. Where's the train? Where did you pick, pick that train up? Well, it's not got the original stereo. Uh, so see, somebody no. may have butchered the wiring. Do you think so? Um, I don't think so. I think maybe. No, I don't think so. I'm being positive. Feeling glass half full. Oh, right. my earlier successes. Tell me about your earlier successes. Getting some cold wind on the old Persia. Oh yeah, there's a video coming too, or Andy's on the channel, of us uh, DIY air regassing re our aircon systems. Which is an interesting it's thing. interesting that one of the people on Twitter says something about, uh, or X, is it legal to sell this to the public? Yes, good point. So out comes the seatbelt holder. Got to take these two out as well. And in theory, the seat should now be free. Now I'm sure some people would be able to do this by lifting the seat and just sliding it into place. We're going to test that it all works. It took it out. <laughs> yes, we're going to uh, test the system with it in place and taking the thing out here. So we are actually physically going to take the seat out. So which means we have to take the seat belt out as well. It is really simple. You turn this round and it unhooks out of here. 
We've changed our plan. We're going to just tip the seat backwards. Somebody on the internet says you could leave it disconnected, didn't they? Yeah, so don't forget you've got to disconnect this. Uh, which is your seat belt warning. Um, you can't be clever and leave this unhooked if you don't want to put that in because it knows. Let's plug the subwoofer in now and test it. There's the, uh, there's the connector. If you haven't got the connector poking through here, it is under here. So you have to reach through and there's a slit in the carpet that you can push it through. So before we go crazy and take all the bar and everything out, we have plugged it in to test it. So turn the, turn the key on. Turn the aircon off. Turn the radio up. Well, it's working. It's very bassy. Right, so that's good news. We know it works. Uh, I'm not able to put the actual song on the YouTube of it working um, because it will get pushed out. But um, so this does work. We've tested it. It's very bassy, but it does work with the system. So it is literally plug and play for us. It's a little speaker though, isn't it? Yeah, but it sounded good, didn't it, with the... Oh, oh yes, the very hollow. nice. You wait until we're ripping the dash out to put the tweeters in. Um, right, okie dokie. So now we know that that works. <laughs> now we know that that works. It is time to fit it properly. So this bar has to come out now. We're using a ratchet and an extension bar to crack it. So we've slid it into place. There are some like extension bars here which go there. We think that it's going to sit on top of there, but actually... It doesn't look like it does. It doesn't look like it does, does it? Nope. Let's take them extension bars out a second. Can we call them spacers? Spacers, yeah. And sit that against the floor. I mean, that is now sat against the floor. That doesn't look right to me. Well, that looks how it was before. I'll be it's right you. against the carpet. Yeah, probably that's how it is. Um, no, that's how it was before, dude, but you can see it. Okay. Trust me. Yeah, but was it fitted incorrectly in the beginning? Ah, and there's something goes over. The, oh, so don't put, let it go up. Ah. Oh. So that goes up in there, does it? It doesn't, though, unless it's in the wrong place. Like that. Oh, yeah. There, there we go. So that's the cable now in place for that. That's the subwoofer clipped in. Yeah. And that's how it was in the previous vehicle. And it literally just sits against the carpet line. Oh, I don't well. like that, you know. Well, it's not supposed to, the wind's not supposed to come out the front, is it? No. Comes out the it sort of makes this box vibrate, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll soon find out, won't we? Okay, so uh, underneath the spacers, as we've said, it sits in place. That goes in there. The crash bar or the seating bar goes back in. We'll put that back in, and then we'll put the uh, put the rear in. So we've tightened that down. That in there. This is in place. We're going to tip the seat back forward. Uh, attach this back into place and attach it at the rear. So I these bolts have gone in, me, this know. nut has gone in. We've still got to put the ones in the back there, but we've connected up the seat belt connector uh, because we couldn't get our hands in um, without doing that. So just put that nut on when you get time. Will do. I can't get my hand around that way. It doesn't we can now see the space between the subwoofer and the seat. I wonder if you've got it upside down. No. 100% certain. It can't fit any other way, can it? I don't think so. Let's Looks get the back right in. Me. Has that been in your mouth? Which bit? That screw. Yeah, why? It's wet, I saw. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Tell you what we didn't check. What's that? One of your good people mentioned that the... basically the plenum drain might be blocked at the front. Oh, we'll check that as well. So that is in place there. There is the subwoofer here. That's in place there. Apart from putting the seatbelt back in, job done. Seatbelt is back in place. Remember to talk it to the manufacturer settings because it is safety related. Same with all these bolts as well. Now to put the seatbelt back in the holder. So it's fitted. You can't listen to this. It's in. Put your fingers in your ears, little viewers. Don't let 
Listen. You two people don't listen. Is it working? No. What do you mean it's not working? It doesn't seem to be working. Oh yes it is. It doesn't seem to be doing much. But it works. Yeah. Well there it is. It's fitted to the car and it works. <laughs> is it going to make much of a difference? Uh, probably I not. I can go back to my old radio mobile woman. Model 80 radio mobile, and you'd either got scratchy or thumpy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we fitted it to the car, and for the sake of 50 quid, then uh, I'm happy because not only have I got an original um, subwoofer, but uh, it's hopefully improved my audio listening quality. Uh, will we know until we've given it a good old run? No, probably not. Are we bothered? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm bothered. I'm bothered about yeah, it. Yeah, you're bothered, I'm not bothered. The honest answer is fitting an underfloor, an underseat subwoofer to the Smart 451 is relatively easy. Where are you easy. going to put your sandwiches near? Uh, in the glove box. Oh, OK. Um, but yeah, it's fitted. We shall see how we get on. Um, wasn't a difficult job, was it, really? Not we are wasting our time, are we? <laughs> We're wasting our time a little bit. Well, there it is then, under seat subwoofer fitted to the Smart 451. Have I wasted £50? Probably, to be honest with you. But it's nice to have, and the fact that it is literally four bolts into the floor and the wiring is already there, for the sake of 50 quid, it's nice to have in the car. There are other audio upgrades that I can do to this car in the Smart 451 42 Upgrade Audio Pack. I am surprised that this being the limited edition Night Orange didn't come with that upgrade because it's got the flappy paddle steering wheel, it's got the leather seats, it's got all sorts of things. It doesn't have heated seats actually and it doesn't have front fog lights. It is just, I suppose, a dealer option, uh, special edition. Um, what's next? Well, I'm gonna run it, test it, make sure it's okay. I prefer more clarity over more bass. So there are uh, potentials for me to be fitting tweeters under the dash with the wiring still there as well. They cost about 30 pounds each, but we shall see how we get on with the system as it is. If you've enjoyed this video and have fitted the Smart 451 subwoofer yourself, or are going to, let me know in the comments below how you got on. Uh, maybe you think it's a revelation or maybe you think it's an absolute waste of time too. Till next time, thanks for watching. See ya.